everyone, so today I decided that I wanted to talk to you guys about my hair care routine. It was requested from a YouTube subscriber that I would put her link down below and just talk to you about what I do with my hair. So starting off with my hair, I have very thin hair and I actually do get it highlighted very frequently, almost about four times a year. So I have to be careful that I don't damage it. One time I tried to curl my hair with a flat iron and I actually ended up taking a chunk of hair off simply because I do have colored hair and um, high heat on colored hair is more likely to break easily. So getting into my shampoo routine, so the Two shampoos that I have in my shower right now. First one is from John Frieda, and this is the Sheer Blonde Everlasting Blonde Color Preserving Shampoo. And this is what it looks like. There's actually a glare. This is what it looks like. I know a lot of girls on YouTube did do a review on John Frieda blonde hair care and they have said a lot of negative things about it. I usually don't use it as a routine shampoo. I don't buy it over and over again but I do feel that when I do use it my hair does get a lot lighter. I just went on vacation so being in the sun has lightened my hair a good amount. I do have dirty blonde hair but I do as you can see get it highlighted. And the other shampoo that I use just um, basically like a clarifying shampoo. It doesn't say clarifying on here but I believe that any solid shampoo that has just a basic moisture balance is one that would be the best for clarifying and I usually use this towards the end of the week on Sunday and right now I have in my shower is the Pantene Pro-V uh, Nature Fusion Moisture Balance and this is what it looks like. I do like this. I do find that after I use this with my hair I do see an improvement. So going on to conditioner the one conditioner that I have in my shower right now, actually a big bottle, and this is the first time that I'm using this conditioner. I really, really like it, and it is the Tresemme Color Protection Color Treated Conditioner. When I do use this, I do see a difference, and I usually tend to keep this in my hair for about two to three minutes, and without a comb, my hair is able to be brushed through with my fingers no problem I found multiple conditioners that I've used before and they just suck so after I do take a shower and I do wash my hair mostly every day I know for um, a lot of people it's really bad and you get a lot of dandruff but my hair gets oily very easily so I do have to wash it every day and after getting out of the shower, I usually tend to put two different products in my hair depending on the day. So I alternate between these two. The first one is BioSilk, and it's just basically a silk therapy oil that you put in your hair, and that's what it looks like. Usually I do put a dime size on my hand, and I rub my hands together and put it at the ends of my hair. The other hair treatment that I do use if I'm not using the bio silk is the it's a 10 keratin treatment I actually don't have the bottle right now because I just ran out this week so I have to buy another one soon and I find with that I put it all over my hair even in my scalp and I feel like it does make a difference I do see a difference and my hair just feels more healthy and natural and there's less breakage those are the two hair products that I put in after when I have damp hair. The next thing that I do use in my hair is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. And if you are a girl, you know of this. This is a very popular product. Everyone has definitely come by this, and I feel like this has been the best heat spray that I've come by. Technically, you're not supposed to be using this with its a 10 at the same time because that does the same thing. Sometimes just for extra protection because I do have colored hair, I will use this as a secondary product with the It's a 10. So on another side note, another product that I have been putting into my hair care routine is the um, Beauty Protector and it's a protector and detangler and this is what it looks like. It's basically a leave-in conditioner and it's the same, very similar I find to It's a 10. I did receive this from my friend Kristen. This has been an amazing product, especially on vacation. It kind of has like a little coconut smell or like a beach smell. I don't know, I'm terrible at describing the way things smell. 
But if you haven't tried this or you receive this in your birch box, I definitely recommend taking it out and trying it because it really does make a difference. So getting into the type of tools that I use, um, the first one, my blow dryer is from Revlon and it's the 1875 Iron Select and this is basically what it looks like. Nothing fancy, got this at Marshall for about $15. I usually don't tend to spend a lot of money on my hair dryer or iron. If I see it at Marshall's or Target and it's a great deal, I will buy it, but I usually tend to keep stuff and when it's worn out, I stop using it. I'm not one of those girls that spend lots of money on one styling product because I feel that in most cases they are the same and spending $100 on a Chi straightener is the same thing as spending $20 on a straightener from Marshalls that's on sale. For my straightener I use, it's called Fahrenheit and it's a hair care system. This is relatively new. I got it from Target for about, I think it was $25 and the original price was 75 or 100 something like that. I actually got it because my sister had it and um, I really liked it. The one I had before, I had for six years and it lasted me a long time and it was a $30 straightener from Marshalls and I loved it. And I just find that Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Target have the best deals for tools and especially Amazon as well. So that's my hair care routine. And if you guys like this, please leave me a comment down below. And if you have any suggestions or products that I should try out. And one more thing, if you subscribe to my channel, you will make my day so much. So make sure you subscribe and have a nice day, guys. Bye.